In today's video, we're gonna be discussing one of my favorite cichlids that I've kept in my classroom here, and that is the yellow jacket cichlid. So yellow jackets are beautiful, aggressive fish with bright color and great patterns along their body, but there are some important care requirements that we're gonna walk through with this fish. So let's dive right in. This is my yellow jacket in my 90 gallon tank here in my classroom fish room. I've had it for a year and a half and there's reason it's a solo fish in there. They are very aggressive cichlids, which we'll discuss later on. Yellow jackets are Central American cichlids and it is part of the Parachromis family. There's definitely some confusion when it comes to its common and scientific names. A few years ago, it was reclassified from a Parachromis Frederick Stolle to Parachromis multifascius. The Frederick Stolle, also nicknamed Freddy, is a closely related species to the Lozali. It gets extra confusing when these cichlids are also called yellow jacket cichlids. Regardless, we're discussing the multifascitus today, but these similar care requirements could be given to the Freddies or even the most popular Parachromis, the Jaguar cichlid. And one side note, Jaguars do get slightly bigger, but both the yellow jacket and the Jaguar are small in comparison to the big and aggressive Parachromis dovi, also known as the wolf cichlid. It is definitely easy to see why the Parachromis family has such a cult following in the hobby. Yellow jackets are stunning fish with bright yellow color and black striping patterns down the body. Males sometimes get a browner tint for periods of time as they grow, but both males and females get incredible color and you understand the nicknames of bumblebees and yellow jackets. This group of cichlids originate in Central America where conditions are typically warm with harder water than South America. Although sometimes they are found in brackish water, which is a mix between freshwater and salt water, I'd usually recommend keeping them in freshwater where they seem to thrive and conditions are easier to maintain consistency there. Their natural habitat will be in rivers, lakes, with slower moving and murky water. Due to this, I'd recommend a small wave maker that keeps water moving, but isn't too strong, and a light that you can dim as they don't seem to love bright lighting. They do like their water warmer, so you need a heater. A good temperature range is anywhere between 77 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Being on the higher end of this range can sometimes result in more aggressive tendencies and even induced breeding. If you have hard water and slightly higher pH like I do, then you have perfect water parameters for the yellow jacket. But even if you aren't in the ideal parameters, I would recommend chasing these as consistency is way more important for their long-term health. As long as you have a cycled tank and can keep up with water changes, you should really be just fine. Keep those nitrates below 20 to 40 parts per million if you can. For tank setup, I did a mix of sand and gravel in my tank, but either substrate will work just fine. They dig pits and move either type around, so just know that going in. For decor, rocks and driftwood would be great. Just make sure they are well secured if the yellow jacket starts digging around. These cichlids are known to shred up and destroy most live plants, so you may want to save your money there and either go with a setup like mine or mix in a few fake plants. Being a big predatory fish comes with its challenges in the aquarium. Yellow jackets are best kept solo or in a mated pair. I just have one in my 90 gallon here and it is awesome. It's like a pet to my classroom and all of my students love it. It's probably my favorite fish and aquarium in my classroom currently. If I did get a mated pair though, I would probably need a slightly bigger tank than I do now. Yellow jackets can grow to be large, but slightly smaller than closely related jaguar cichlid. The males can reach around 12 inches, while the females will be slightly smaller around 10 inches. Due to this large size as adults and their territorial aggression, I would suggest a 75 or 90 gallon as the bare minimum for a solo fish, and probably over 100 gallons or more if you're going to try out a mating pair. These fish can live to be well over 10 years old, so know that there is a time commitment to keeping them as well. And for tank mates, it's really tricky to find any fish that will be okay with them long-term. Some may work as juveniles, but yellow jackets can snap at any moment and go after others in the tank. I mean, just look at the teeth on this guy. Your best bet for tank mates would be similar sized cichlids that could possibly hold their own. I would say Vieja species, Texas cichlids, maybe Jack Dempsey's, Severums, or similar tough cichlids that could possibly work if the tank is very large 
and if you get lucky with some more chill yellow jackets. You can also try fish like silver dollars, plecos, other catfish, clown loaches, basically anything that gets a decent size and stays out of the way. But like I said earlier, this can be very tricky to do, so the recommendation is usually keep them without tank mates. Yellow jackets are predatory fish and require a protein-based diet. Jesus Christ! I give mine big krill flakes and big fellow pellets from Extreme, as these are high in protein. Mixing in frozen brine shrimp or blood worms would be great as well. And it also doesn't hurt to give them the occasional veggie-based food to round out their diets. They will eat a lot, but try not to overfeed them and wreck your water parameters. Feeding once per day should be plenty, especially if they are adults. When it comes to breeding, these cichlids will be substrate spawners, meaning they will clear out an area in the substrate to have a clean area to lay eggs. The female will lay a ton of eggs, usually around 500 or so, and the male will fertilize them. A few days later, you'll have fry hatch and hundreds of baby yellow jackets swarm the parents. They are very good protectors anytime they breed, and they will be hyper aggressive with eggs or fry in the tank. So if you do have tank mates, you may need to find another tank or get a tank divider. They can lay new eggs after about four weeks, and I've seen yellow jackets have a ton of fry in the tank and still lay more eggs. Growth rate is pretty fast for these guys, so make sure you're set up for breeding and to handle the sheer amount of fry if you do get a pair. In my classroom, I don't have room for that many tanks, so I only have the solo yellow jacket for now. In summary, yellow jackets are amazing, colorful cichlids that can be very aggressive and are best kept solo or in a mated pair. As long as you're very, very careful with tank mates, you really shouldn't come across any issues with this beautiful cichlid. My students absolutely love this guy and I would recommend him to anyone. If you have any questions about the video, please leave those in the comments section. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.